Uh, it's actually a program from uh, the Sao Paulo Stage Research Foundation, and its aim is to bring uh, distinguished lecturers and a group of top-notch students to discuss science and engage in um, active uh, research topics on, across all uh, uh, areas of knowledge. This particular edition, we will focus on nanophotonics. And as you see, this is a joint event with the 15th edition of the George Andres Vieco School on nonlinear and quantum optics. So you, you can hope to, to, to see a mixture of these three topics uh, over the next um, couple weeks. So this is being hosted at Unicamp. This is the logo of Unicamp and uh, at the Gleb Tagging Physics Institute, which is this place you are uh, right now. Uh, this event also uh, was supported, endorsed by the Optical Society of America, uh, the Brazilian Physical Society, the IEEE Photonic Society, and uh, this uh, National Research uh, and Technological Development um, Council, and uh, uh, National Institute um, for uh, Sciences uh, Photonicon. I would, love, I would also like to acknowledge our sponsors, which uh, make this event also uh, possible. Tor Labs, Comsol Physics, Lynx, McKenzie University, VR Photonics, Quantum Design, and Newport Corporation. So, so you get to know the faces. Uh, this is myself. Um, I'm Gustavo, I'm the chair. Tiago Allegri, which is sitting right here, is a co-chair. So if you find yourself in trouble, don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, the other uh, members of the organizing committee that were uh, behind the scene, I mean, we, they were not shooting emails every other week, as we did with you, uh, is Professor Hugo Fragnito, Newton Frateschi, which is uh, the director of the Physics Institute sitting here as well, and Professor José Roversi. And of course, this wouldn't be possible without the support of uh, Mrs. Uh, Simone Telles and Eliane Valente. Uh, you, you guys probably met her uh, during the registration. They will be around, and I'm sure you're going to interact with them uh, later on. So the first thing I'd like to, to put forward is the purpose of roommates. You might have realized that when you checked in the hotel, uh, probably the, the, the front desk guy uh, asked you to, that you would be sharing a room with someone you didn't um, sign up for. Uh, and I actually oriented them to mix international students with Brazilian students. So I'm not sure if that actually happened. I need to check at the hotel desk, front desk later on. But that were the instructions. And I think the idea is, uh, what is the purpose of a roommate, right? I think I looked up PhD comics to see what they uh, have to tell about this, um, about this. And the message I got here is that it's just moral support, right? Hey, what, room, what are roommates for? And the guy says, thanks after being stressed out with some article or thesis uh, problem here. So I think it's, it's about that, right? I expect a little bit more. I expect you to, that you can establish a friendship that can spend your, 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 your whole life if, if, if possible, but also um, discuss physics, photonics, uh, life issues, everything that um, you may, may feel like to. Okay, so, so you have an idea of, of, of the distribution of this event uh, attendee-wise. We got about 190 applications uh, from which we select 100. This was the budget. We need to have 100 students here. This uh, spans about 19 countries. Okay, uh, here's a count where I remove Brazil from the scale because Brazil already, uh, the, the idea of the event was to have 50% Brazilians and 50% foreigners. So Brazil has about uh, 55 students in this, in this count. Uh, it would saturate the scale. Uh, so here, this is, here's a, its distribution uh, among the world. Um, so Australia, I think, is after Colombia. Australia is the second largest. And I put the numbers here to easy to count. Um, so again, uh, Colombia, OK, Ecuador and Australia are matched. Uh, and then come the United States, Argentina. And some countries are represented by this single person, you know, the single hero that came here to, to represent them. So you, you, get a, you have a, a big responsibility, you see? These guys here, they are, you have a, a really big responsibility going on. 
Uh, and we have 55 Brazilians, so it's about 50% uh, distribution. Okay, so if you're not aware, I'm sure you are already, uh, Campinas City is located in Sao Paulo State, which is really close to the coast, um, Atlantic coast of Brazil. Uh, it's about 100 kilometers from Sao Paulo City. You learned that because you all arrived at Guarulhos Airport and you need to take a uh, uh, bus uh, to get here. I know already that some of you slept in the airport due to the delayed flights. Um, they might not be here, actually, right? The ones that slept in the airport, but they'll, they'll arrive soon. Um, the place we are right now uh, is uh, the Physics Institute, which is one slice of this pizza logo, which is Unicamp, right? Uh, we are in this slice here. The hotel is down this road. Um, and um, this is a huge campus. You can walk around and, 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 and meet the other um, places around. There are uh, nice gardens and, and that stretch that you can check out over the next two weeks. But I'd like to, aware, to make you aware of this uh, zone here. It's very dangerous. There's this lake and there's this wild capybaras. <laughs> uh, walking around there. So I'm just kidding. They're friendly. They're like, um, you know, pigs-ish. Um, but they have a, they might bite. There's a small, uh, how do you call it? The carpato is a stick. They're, they're, they have ticks, so don't, don't lay around in the grass there. They, they, the ticks might catch you. Um, but don't, don't, don't be afraid of these uh, animals. They're, they're nice. Um, OK, so here's a, a Unicamp. Uh, Photo again, now you can see why the logo looks like that. It really matches this distribution here of uh, different faculties and uh, institutions that are around the um, Ciclo Basico, we call. And uh, Unicamp was founded in 1966. Uh, we are now completing this year 50 years, so it's a relatively new university. We have about 35,000 students here. 45% are graduate students. Uh, these are distributed over uh, 66 undergrad courses and 70 grad school programs that issue PhD. We do have more than that, but some of them are master's degree only uh, uh, programs. There's this place here, which is um, a physical education uh, uh, institution, so you can go there and there's a running, if you don't feel tired after coming from Australia, for example, uh, you can go there for running at 6 a.m. before joining the lectures here. Um, okay, so Unicamp is actually, uh, we, there was this recent um, Times Higher Education ranking. Unicamp is the second uh, best in this metric uh, university in Latin America, uh, followed by uh, uh, just around, just behind uh, University of Sao Paulo, which is another uh, state university um, in Sao Paulo State. Um, okay. So at the Physics Institute, we have a lot of photonics going on. Uh, we are about 15 professors um, doing all kinds of photonics research. Uh, and recently, we've been uh, interacting as well with the electrical engineering uh, department, uh, which is also has some initiative in photonics. So by the end of the school, if you feel convinced that you should come to Brazil and pursue some sort of uh, research activity here, you see that there are a lot of options, different fields. Um, and I'll get you to, to know more details on what are the funding opportunities uh, for this at the end of the event. So we, as a result of this, you know, large number of people doing this research, we just got a new building uh, that you've probably seen across the street here, down, uh, it's probably 100 meters down the street, uh, that uh, takes about 604 square meters of lab space, and we're going to be moving to this building uh, soon, uh, many of these professors that I just uh, shown on uh, the slide before. Okay, so what we going to learn at this school I, I'm going to lay out the program here, and, and the people will be giving the lectures to you. So we have some uh, words on atom traps. Uh, unfortunately, um, due to technical issues, one of the professors, Professor Lisa Arujo, won't be able to give his experimental course on this matter. So we need to uh, learn only from Professor Vanderlei Bayato on this topic. Uh, Professor Vanderlei uh, is from University of São Paulo. Luis is from University of Campinas. On cavity optomechanics, uh, this was our initial plan. Uh, Professor Oscar Painter from Caltech, myself, and Professor Thiago Allegri. Unfortunately, Oscar um, uh, warned us uh, Saturday that uh, he won't be able to make it, unfortunately. So we're going to miss him here. 
uh, on nonlinear optics. Again, I'm putting labels on this, but of course, these are not strict. And I hope I don't offend any of the lecturers that I'm putting a label on your research. It's just to have an idea of what kind of uh, topics that will be covered, okay? Um, we're going to have Alex Gaeta from Columbia University and Professor C. Araujo from University, a Federal University of Pernambuco in Brazil. On nonlinear nanophotonics, uh, and, or nanophotonics, if you like, we're going to have Professor Newton Fortescue from Unicamp, Hong Tang from Yale University, and uh, Michal Lipson uh, from Columbia. On uh, optical fibers and nonlinearities in optical fibers, uh, you learn from Professor Paulo Dainese from the Physics Institute, which is here today, uh, Professor Raman Kashap from uh, Polytechnique Montreal, and Professor uh, Phil Russell from the Max Planck Institute uh, for the Science of Light in Germany. Um, you get a taste of quantum optics as well. We're going to do uh, Professor Carlos Monkin from Federal University of Minas Gerais, who will be giving lectures. Professor Marcelo Martinelli from University of Sao Paulo, and Luis Davidovich from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, who will also teach you about quantum optics. And uh, last but not least, you're going to learn a lot of ultra-fast science. And we have here uh, Professor Roy Taylor, which is sitting over there from Imperial College, uh, Professor Scott Didems uh, from NIST and University of uh, Colorado Boulder, and Professor Lazaro Padilla uh, here at Unicamp. So this is a, the scenario uh, of your lectures for the next two weeks. And I would like to take this moment to thank all the speakers that accepted this invitation. It's a great honor for us to receive you here. And again, they are doing this for the sake of science, right? For the sake of knowledge. So we are really, um, really thankful for you accepting our invitation. And stay here for such a long period, given all the busy schedules and all the events that you are, um, I'm sure, committed with. Um, thanks. Um, so here's a schedule. Um, so you're going to do this. Um, Introduction today, then after me, Professor Brito Cruz, uh, the scientific director of APES, will give you a keynote about uh, the foundation. We're going to have a break to get to know each other a little bit, and then we kick off the hard time. You know, you're going to have Paulo Dainese, lunch. I'll, I'll discuss lunch a little bit later. And tonight, there will be a reception at um, a pub called Lado B. It's really close to the hotels the students are staying. Professor Roy Taylor will be giving a historical lecture on, on femtosecond lasers. Uh, it will be fantastic, I'm sure. And right on, we're going to have uh, some Brazilian bar food and beers uh, and juices and uh, things like that. Um, that's where it's really important to have sponsors, you know? Because you can't pay that with uh, government money. Uh, and on Tuesday, it follows on. We can discuss details of this, uh, so you can have a panorama. On Friday, there will be a poster session with lunch, a box lunch. You're not going to be on, on the usual dinner and lunch a place. Uh, it's going to be a box lunch. And on Saturday, you're going to visit McGraff, which is a new institution uh, focused on graphene research, uh, photonics and graphene research at Sao Paulo City, and also get to know the Iberia Pereira Park, which is a sort of the central park of Sao Paulo City, I would say. It's a very neat, very nice park. And then return at Campinas. Uh, this is uh, MacGraph uh, uh, building entrance. Here's a few things you might you got to check out at Ibira Pereira Park at Sao Paulo City. And you get one day to rest, OK? So the Australians and people that travel 15 hours or, uh, yeah, this is the day you, you get to sleep. <laughs> and you kick off the next week. Um, we also get another uh, get-together event on Monday with Professor Luis Davidovich, also giving a historical lecture on quantum optics at the same place. And uh, there's these three uh, uh, events here, which are dedicated to act experimental or hands-on activities. So there will be lab courses and um, uh, visits uh, to uh, local um, research facilities and labs. So we're going to be visiting the Synchrotron Laboratory, which is about a few kilometers away from campus, and also the center. Uh, sorry, guys. I got a spinning beach ball of death on my screen. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should just try to. It's completely crashed. Um, I'm not going to try to go back to that slide. There's something evil about it. Uh, but you're going to visit the Center for uh, Technological um, Development and Telecommunications. It's a huge uh, facility um, a few miles away as well. So it's going to be divided into two groups. Half of them is going to be doing the visit. Half of them is going to stay here at the Institute and engage in lab activities, uh, which I, I highlight here. There will be all kinds of experiments in recent active uh, research fields, such as optomechanics, brilliant scattering nanostructures, ultrafast spectroscopy, micro ring resonators, and uh, also a theoretical side of it, which is going to be a hands-on course on finite element method. Uh, and you get to select the courses by this Friday. So we have a finite amount of uh, vacancies in this, um, <coughs> this courses, uh, seats available. So, uh, but I'll let you guys go through the week before taking this tough decision on which of these courses you're going to join. Uh, and it's going to happen in two days. So the guy that visits on a Tuesday will get to do experiments on Wednesday and vice versa. And on, thir uh, on Thursday, um, you're going to have the, um, a day to process your data and analyze and generate a report and things like that. Uh, and again, I recall of the poster session, take care of your poster. It's going to be used twice. Okay? So all the students, because we have a different group of professors in the first week and the second week, we actually uh, we would like you to repeat the poster discussion. So everybody, you got to get feedback from um, a different group of professors. And do a good job. We'll be giving an award, an award uh, at the end of the um, event for the best poster and for the best uh, report on the experimental activities. So keep focused. Um, just uh, remarks about lunch and dinner. So we'll be providing you lunch and dinner at uh, what people call the Bande Jean, which is like the big tray. Okay, so it's a university restaurant. Uh, some of the students here today in particular, Guilherme Rizende and Rodrigo Benevides, they will be guiding you there. Uh, uh, they have their, the cards to go through the um, entrance, and they will let you go through. Uh, everybody have lunch together, and then you come back for the, for the event. You have about one hour and 15 minutes for lunch. That's, that's plenty of time for you to, to chat a little bit and, and have lunch. Uh, and just re again, remember again, today at 5.30 p.m., we're going to go to this place uh, to watch uh, Roy Taylor's keynote and on Monday, uh, Luis Davidovich's keynote and also have some good time there. I know you're all anxious about this, how I'm getting paid, right? How I get the reimbursement uh, for the tickets. So each student will receive a check uh, that you can uh, convert into cash in a local um, bank agency within the campus. We will be, you'll be instructed about that. Uh, you need to bring your, I told you many times, a boarding pass side uh, thing. If you did your electronic um, check-in, you can send us, uh, some of you already did, uh, the electronic boarding pass. Uh, it's fine, but you need to bring your passport and ID. We'll be starting this tomorrow, and it's going to spread over the whole week. We, Definitely finish by Friday. Hopefully, hopefully you can finish earlier. It will depend on the bank logistics because a lot of people going together there. Uh, we, we are discussing that with them. Um, and you can check uh, the money you don't use in Brazil for some reason. You can convert that either at ex exchange offices that are nearby. Um, I don't encourage you to do that. I don't think there's, it's necessary. Uh, you can leave to do that um, in the airport when you leave. Uh, and this will be done, be handled by Ms., uh, Mr. Simone Tellis. Uh, if you need any help, of course, you can ask any of us here. Uh, but also, Ms. Eliane Valente will be, is officially doing that and, and helping us with all the logistics issues. And I would like you to give your final welcome and enjoy your stay. And I would like to invite Professor Brito Cruz. Oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me, Brito. <laughs> Professor Newton Frateschi <laughs> uh, to give uh, another welcome, official institutional welcome. And afterwards, we'll be joined, uh, joined by Professor Brito, too. Talk about that. Thank you. Thank you. I almost got uh, cut. Um, basically, it's very informal. Welcome, everyone, to, to the school.
the Physics Institute is very uh, honored uh, by your presence here, and I'd like to thank the organizers and all the speakers that we have here. We're very honored to be able to have this school here. The sure you make the best of this uh, stay here, and if you have any problems, you ask Eliani. Okay. <laughs> okay, welcome. Tomek. Quantos vocês trouxeram? São 100 pessoas confirmadas, sabe? Então, tem que ser umas 97 ali. Hum, que bom. Vamos lá. Agora que começa aqui, peraí. De que países? Que país vem mais?